One of the biggest problems with AI is how to implement it into our own life. It's cool with all these updates, but if we don't use it, then what is the worth, right? So today I'm going to show you a bunch of things that you can actually implement into your life together with today's AI news. You can now make videos inside of ChatGPT. Literally just ask it what to make a video about and it will make a video about it. Look, just go to GPT-4 and click on the plugins. Now go to the plugin store, search for Visla. Install, now write generate a 10 second shot of a grizzly bear running through nature. Here we go, your video titled Grizzly Bear in Motion has been successfully created. You can view your video here. If you wanna save or edit the video, let's see if it's in again. In the heart of nature, okay. a grizzly bear roams free. With its powerful legs, <laughs> the grizzly bear charges forward with ease. Okay. The grizzly bear's fur glistens in the sunlight as it runs. The grizzly bear's what is that music is though? As it Besides the <laughs> metal guitar shredding solo, it's actually picking pretty good stock footage. Like I've tested a bunch of these automatic video generation softwares and this one actually keeps up. Now the next step is obviously we can click save to edit and now we can edit all the scenes. And maybe instead of this song here, let's go with this one. If you want me to try to make a full YouTube video with this software and try to get views, comment down below and we will see if it performs or not. Here's how to upscale an image with AI for free. First, go to this website called upscale.org and just download this free and open source AI image upscaler. Now I can just select an image. Like for example, this image is 159 kilobytes and the dimensions are around 1000 by 500. I'm just going to drag the image over here. You can also batch upscale a bunch of photos in the same folder. You can even double upscale to get 16x the upscale. So this is the before resolution. This is the after about 4000. Let's upscale. So it now runs in the background. And just like that, this is before and this is after and this is before and this is after it's a pretty big change huh look at the detail in this oh my goodness there's a free chat gpt plugin that allows you to create automations on any website as a content creator i use twitter a lot to find the best ideas new news in ai and stuff like that right the annoying part is that i just have to keep scrolling and scrolling looking for the view count now i can just automate that work it's called bar Dean AI, just go to the plugin store and click on install. Now look, I can ask it get tweets from a specific keyword and save them into a Google Sheet. So now it will use the Bardeen plugin and it will say, you know, step number one, do this, step number two, and then you can click the link and you just have to, you know, say what keyword do you want to do and which sheet do you want to put it on and it will start scraping all of the AI tools data on Twitter and you can view it in Google Sheets right there. Or you can, for example, copy LinkedIn post comments. So you use Bardeen, you just enter the URL that you want and right in front of you is just scraping all that data and putting it directly into Google Sheets. To start using the plugin, make sure you download the Chrome extension Follow all the steps I just showed you and start automating your work. OpenAI just introduced function calling. This is the biggest update to OpenAI's API since its release. There are the five biggest updates that just happened. Number one is obviously function calling. In the past, you could only get a natural language output from OpenAI's API. Now you can actually get a function output. Example, get current weather location Celsius and this allows ChatGPT to integrate more into other APIs or give softwares data that isn't natural language. The second important update is that they've updated both GPT-4 and 3.5 Turbo to have better performance in the addition of adding function calling to the API. The third update is the extended 
context window. GPT-4 has now gotten a 32,000 token window and 3.5 got 16,000 token window. The fourth update is the lower price. The cost of using the embeddings model text embedding ADA 002 has been reduced by 75%. In addition, the cost of input tokens for the most popular chat model, GPT 3.5 Turbo, has been reduced by 25%. The fifth update is the model deprecations, which basically means that the older versions of GPT 4 and 3.5 Turbo will be automatically upgraded on June 27th. It also says developers who need more time to transition can continue using the older models by specifying these model parameters in their API requests. This AI tool is clicking buttons for you and typing on your keyboard. All you need to do is just tell it. So as you can see right now, it's on the DMV website and it's tasked to open a page to schedule an appointment for car knowledge test. It can also book trips for you. It can find flights. It can do comedy film filtering. It can go to Twitter and like tweets, even follow people home at night in a dark alley. What's special about this one compared to others is that it offers an expansive collection of over 2000 tasks from 137 websites across 31 diverse domains. They're trying to create the most advanced web agent that can do anything a human can do, it can do on Chrome, for example. We have seen a couple of things like this in the past. I haven't been very impressed. We're getting closer, but we still got a bit to go. Deep fakes are getting extremely realistic. Everything you see here is fake. The video, the voice, just look at this. I am not Morgan Freeman, and what you see is not real. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. What if I were to tell you that I am not even a human being? Would you believe me? What is your perception of reality? Is it the ability to capture, process, and make sense of the information our senses receive? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? Or is it simply the ability to feel? I would like to welcome you to the era of synthetic reality now yeah that's freaky and this is the thing about ai that i don't like so much deep faking creating propaganda images the eu just proposed a law that all tech companies need to add a little this video was ai generated under it to slow down the spread of misinformation something that is going to be very hard but absolutely necessary moving forward, knowing what is true and what is false. I made this AI automation with ChatGPT that automatically transcribes your Zoom meeting and creates bullet points of what we talked about. Look, it triggers when there's a new recording in Zoom, then it uploads the entire file into Google Drive. I also upload to Vimeo. You can skip this step. Now we create a transcription with OpenAI that is able to summarize and turn this transcript into 10 bullet points that would make somebody want to watch the replay of the live recording. I also add conversations for ChatGPT, like for example, based on this text, make a short snappy YouTube title in the style of Mr. Beast. And then we send all of that to Notion, which is my note taking app. And here you can see the title, you can see the bullet points and the link to the replay right there. This is only one of many AI automations that I use in my business. And if you want more of these, I have a bunch of them in my Patreon. You can check it out under the AI tools and AI automations. I promise you're gonna like it. This AI tool colorizes any picture for free. And we just drag the image right here. It's uploading and you can see that it's starting to do the base palette. Bam! Just like that. We even have more. Lavender Dusk, Colorful Memories, Vivid Natural. What about this picture? Just gonna drag it in. This is the before and this is the after. Oh my god. So yeah, it's called Palette FM. This guy is using AI as an automated
Automated Project Manager. Fairly straightforward, I just link together a handful of applications to create an automated project manager. I tell it I want to create a new project provided with the stakeholders and it runs through a series of questions. Then it gathers the info and then builds out a project plan to include milestones, individual tasks, dependencies, and charts. We love charts around here. I don't know that I would fully trust my own design for a large project, but this thing is banging through dozens of smaller ones with almost no effort. And best of all, it can work through it when I am busy working on other things. For those wondering, I more or less just prompt GPT on how to develop a project plan and use that to establish goals. Then, based on those goals, I create additional prompts and the system sorta of just loops through everything. Also, I asked GPT how to make it and I decided to do it all in Excel with VBA because I'm familiar with that. It's, rel it's relatively simple and control other Microsoft products and, and is in a format that easily transferable. He also said that he's currently using Excel Power Automate Teams and GPT. It's fairly bare bones at the moment, but he's trying to build it into a full-fledged chatbot where you just ask it to create a project in Teams and it more or less builds out the entire shell of the project or project plan. This AI news just completely blew my mind. Have you heard of NERFs? Neural radiance fields, which is kind of like a 3D object VFX technique. Well, you can now Photoshop your nerve. Look at this. You want to make it taller? We can make it taller. You want to rotate it a little bit? What about this elephant that you scanned that you're you want to kind of move the head a little bit to the right and it just does it. What about if you're scanning something and your cup is in the wrong position, just move it over, put it on top of the knife maybe, maybe a little bit over there. You can even see the way that you select is just draw the owl and then you can deselect the regions that you don't actually want. So you just select away that you then build a cage and then you can edit like for example rotate and it looks as realistic as before this one is called nerf shop amazing work this week i'm going to play around with this so stay tuned for that this ai tool can remix any song and turn it into a new song so he basically puts a song that you might already know now you can choose between if you want just all the vocals if you want the bass the drums or other and then, listen to this. Just swoop the instrumentals and some melody out of there. Now you can give it a prompt again, like lo-fi, slow BPM, electro chill, generate the melody, and here is the result. This is literally the almost exact same beat and melody from the original song. Just changed a tiny bit. We already know that a lot of artists steal. So this will for sure make it easier. You now have AI speech recognition directly in your browser. It supports over 100 languages now. So it's called Whisper Web. And I just uploaded a file that was 58 minutes long and it was in an MP4 format, which is a video. Let's click on transcribe audio. It's probably going to take a bunch of time because it's so big. I should have picked a smaller file. Let's see if we can do a TikTok video instead from URL load. It says running in the top. Okay, so it just started transcribing it just like that. It's actually doing really well. It has some problems saying ChatGPT. <laughs> I'm actually really happy that this is on Hugging Face because then we can connect to it. So yeah, check it out. This AI tool allows you to visualize your Excel sheet and you can also chat with your data set. Just look at this. You just upload this CSV file and this is the World Happiness Report. So you can ask it like, what's the average happiness score? And you can see here, can the relationship between economy and happiness score be visualized using a scatter plot? And just like that, it creates all of this for you just like that. You can ask it if there's a correlation between the number of monthly active users and the sales and marketing cost. Just like that, you got another chart. Or what about loan amount to applicant income? Visualize the distribution of sales by product line. 
Yeah, just like that. It's called chatcsv.co. I actually really want to try this on my documents. How happy are my employees? What percentage of my audience are killers? And how many of them are serial killers? Meta just released a new AI music generator that destroys Google's. The battle is definitely heating up. It's called Music Gen and it's open for you to use right now. We can just describe your music. Let's do Instrumental Progressive House. I mean, that was pretty simple to do. I'm gonna click on Generate here and it's gonna take about 151 seconds. Apparently, you can also train it on your own melody. All right, here's the first example. That's pretty good. What about a boom bap hip hop beat? I can't believe that it almost sounds like it's chopping itself on a pad. And now everybody loves a blues shuffle country song. All right. Safe to say we still need people to make country music. So that's it for today's AI news. Did you like it today? Well, don't forget to subscribe. Also join the Patreon down below for the private community, private AI courses and everything like that. And continue watching by clicking this video and I'll see you over there. I appreciate you. See you in the next one. Peace.